Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about uh, Next Island again. This is another one of those community recognition program uh, videos. This one's going to be about Yellow Papu and how you can do a couple things that stack with it, uh, especially the first couple times you do it. Uh, so there's three missions in specific I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, well, the first one really is a pseudo mission. It's not really truly a mission. It gives you an achievement. You need all four achievements to be able to to be able to do the Simeon uh, thing, uh, which is a group series of missions later, which then turns into the Simeon problem. Several steps to get into that. That will be its own video later on. Uh, look for that in what I'm calling Next Island Story uh, Part 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this though right now. Um, so uh, you're gonna go to the cartographer. I'll have the links down below. I'm gonna have a flashcard right here so you can see it. Uh, you get the mission from him, and it's gonna be called Monkeying Around. Uh, the mission at first, when you read it, like oh, 250 kills of Yellow Papu. Okay, that's not too bad. And you read it, like no, it says. 250 points worth of papu okay so what's a point well when you go look at it, um, anything that is old or higher maturity um, are, are going to be worth points so the young to mature are not actually worth any points um, that basically ends up being that old and providers are worth one point and guardians are worth two points. And I remember, man, guardians aggro a lot with uh, Papu. They tend to have a more aggressive aggro range than other creatures. So I bet I'll kill this without having to kill 250 Papu. Um, in a perfect world... If you were just to drive by, run past the Papu, and draw the attention of all the Guardians, you probably could do that specifically, but you'd have to wait for them to respawn. <clears throat> Typically, I would say about 1 in 8 is actually a Guardian, maybe a little less than that. So you're going to be killing a lot of other mobs. Now, you could do it without the aggroing of the young and the matures and all that, but good luck. Uh, you're probably going to end up killing more than 250 mobs to complete this mission. What does this mission give you? Well, this mission gives you um, a control pill uh, worth two ped. Uh, so if you wanted to just TT it out, you could and get two ped back in the uh, actual, you know, PED. Um, but if you wanted to use it, it's kind of a fun pill. Eventually, I'm going to get into these control pills a lot more when I get a bunch more and I can show how they work and maybe have a couple successful runs and test it a few times and see which ones work and don't work. Um, I currently have two different types of these pills. I have the Mokot and now I have the Papu. Uh, so we'll see what happens when all this comes forward. There are several types out there. And these pills are actually based off of your investigator skill. So, Ammo Investigator is an actual skill, a profession that you can get. It's related closely to Ammo Looter. It's also related to the scanning. When you scan something, you're actually increasing your uh, Investigator skill. Um, however, uh, that does not necessarily mean that you have a very high level of it without it. And if you've never done it, it doesn't mean that you have a uh, zero. You probably, through osmosis of other uh, skills you've let raised up have raised your investigator profession to a, a high enough level that you could use these pills without a problem but anyway that's a whole different story we're not going to get down that let's talk about this particular one the monkeying around and some of the other missions you can do with this so um, there's one that you're going to have a hard time finding a whole lot of information on i talk about it in the uh, next island story part one uh, it's called uh, getting fixed. Uh, there's a so you find this robot named Samuel, and he's got some numbers attached to him and whatnot. But he is broken uh, to the point that only part of his memories are there, and he needs you to go turn on these sensors so he can start to remember things and repair himself. Well, there are four of these locations. One of these locations is with inside the yellow papu wave spawner. So. If you go to the wave spawner and you do the wave spawn, uh, eventually you're going to run into a king. I'll get to that in a second because the king is disproportionately higher level than the rest of the yellow papu. Um, but 
if you complete, if you go and click on the device in the middle of it, the sensor, you will complete that portion of it. And I want to say the yellow papu is actually like the alpha sensor, maybe the beta sensor. If you watch my video, you'll be able to see it as I'm going along. Um, anyways, there's, there's four of them. And this is one of the steps. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about uh, how this works with the uh, monkeying around. Monkeying around requires you to kill yellow papu, and it wants certain maturities that are killed. When I did this myself, I ended up getting about 55, 53 points or something like that. Um, that was not the 250 I needed. It was not anywhere close to it. So I ended up having to hunt them afterwards. Um, but there was a whole lot of Papu that was killed. It was actually one of the larger killing t sessions of Papu I've done. Um, and, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It gave me a chance to look at their uh, drops a little bit better and that type of stuff. And there are some things I learned. In the last video I did where I talked about the Grey Papu uh, containment and I talked about the Wave Spawner, I talked a lot about extractors and that type of stuff. I found that the Yellow Papu tend to drop fewer extractors um, than the other ones. They have, according to the wiki, lots of... Uh, options for extractors but I, f I didn't find that to be very true with my experience in this particular run um i did get lots of papu parts and going to break into the what these things all do here in just a second like i did in the other video um but i did get a whole heap of crystals crystal seems to be the big thing that you get you get the crystals and you get the the part of the animal of your hunting uh, those seem to be true regardless. Um, I did get uh, ammo oil residue and ammo muscle oil, and I did get some ammo hides, but not enough that I would consider, like, let's go farm Papu for ammo hides. There are way better creatures out there in this world to farm than that. Um, but they do drop. Okay, so you get done with the wave spawner um you get uh yellow papu slayer just like you got the gray papu slayer for doing the gray uh wave spawner pretty cool awesome uh, i got another achievement uh this one is a lesser known achievement i when i did the search on some websites that tend to focus on this uh they didn't even have this one as one of the ones that you could do um it made me think that maybe this was that way for the red and the brown too and maybe there'd be some sort of grand uh, achievement and there are and there is uh so that's something to look forward to and when these other videos come out i'll talk more about those them specifically okay so i got me an achievement for completing the waves um i never really had to come out of cdf armor up into the point uh it's a cdf scout armor up into the point that i was fighting the king now I have a Vader 5, or excuse me, 15, and I have three points of armor reduction from the scout armor of, and of each type that the thing might be doing. So if it does uh, three different types of damage, I'm knocking nine points off of it each hit. Okay, when it came to the king, I didn't know I was fighting the king because he didn't look that much different than everything else until I knew I was fighting the king. And when I was fighting the king, he ended up like, ah, and I couldn't even get healed up enough to then get my ghost armor on so I could live. He actually ended up killing me. Once I got ahead and uh, got my ghost armor on and got myself healed up, the weapon I was using was no problem. All the other things were no problem. But he did kind of sneak me uh, in that last round. And uh, knowing what I know now, if you're going to do this wave spawner, which I recommend is actually a great way to get a lot of mobs really fast uh not that with yellow papu you have that problem they seem to be very dense uh really spawn or populated in their areas but if you really want to do that um, i would wait for i'd wear your cdf into the last wave and then put on your um ghost armor or whatever or just have a friend um someone there to heal you or shoot uh, you're gonna have to turn up the dps a little bit um or it could be a problem. Um, I did get different drops off of the Kings. Uh, I do think that they have their own drop list versus normal Yellow Papu, and I would be willing to wager that 
all kings probably drop the same type of stuff. They all have the same drop list, if I was to guess. Um, I don't think that the yellow papu has a different list than the brown papu king. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so we have two missions uh, that are done. We have the, uh, the monkeying around, and we have part of the getting fixed. Um, there was a third one I talked about. Yes, the third one is the actual achievement. So... Uh, part of the NI story when you're going through is you need to have defeated all four Papu wave spawners. When you've defeated all four Papu wave spawners, um, you basically unlock the ability to then go back and kill uh, this 250 more so you can complete that section of it. There's a mission that you have to kill 250 of all four types of Papu. So you have to do the wave spawners to get the achievement then you have to take go kill i'm assuming you have to do both because it's kind of what the mission is stating at least then you have to then go kill 250 of each type of papu and then you get whatever and i'll get into that video that part of the video when i get into that part so those are the three missions you can do now would i do this particular mission over and over and over again maybe um i'd have to dig down into each crystal specifically and see which ones drop uh, for the yellow papu versus uh, the not yellow papu, the brown, the gray, and the red, and see if there was something in there I would want. Um, if there wasn't, frankly, I feel like maybe the other papu are my level. Um, I can still use scout armor. I can still kill them. The only ones I really can't do that with is red, and I think that might be because red do slightly different damage or they hit slightly harder. Um, but frankly, even the gray papu, which is a by majority a different level mob than some of the other ones, um, I can do I can hunt them in scout armor, and it's not a problem. Uh, red papu quickly gets into the range if I want to put my ghost armor on, or I'm going to have to start healing myself a lot. Um, so. There, there is a potential of it. Um, I'm going to do an overarching video on Papu specifically, where I break into each one of the different uh, things that they do uh, individually. I'm not going to get uh, into like the videos I could do in this, but I'm going to get into like if you're looking for this, this particular Papu has pro been proven because I'm going to have to prove it by then uh, to drop these items because the wiki, unfortunately, uh, isn't terribly accurate. And I I'll say it because it's kind of blatant. No one expects the, su the supremacy foot guards to drop off of yellow Papu. I think that's someone trolling you. So you need to not go hunting Papu hoping for that. But would a level one uh, Mind Force chip potentially drop rarely off of a yellow Papu? Maybe. And that would be kind of cool if it did. And I would love to have that happen. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know if that's a thing either. Uh, so let me give a few probably a thousand kills of each type of Papu before I really start to talk about them. Very specific. So... Let's get into the items. All right, so we're gonna get into the crystals. Um, I can tell you that a lot of cat's eye crystal dropped. Uh, cat's eye crystal is used in the Haru specs, if you remember me trying to butcher that last time. This time is the hat. Um, and it also is part of the next island bar uh, that is gonna be for tailoring and for um, carpentry. Now, one of the interesting things about the Belfry hat is it can come customizable and it can come not customizable and That is pretty awesome. It requires the same amount of cat's eyes crystals though The recipes are probably a little bit different again with the azure crystal. You're going to have the decorative uh, flower uh, We talked about that a lot in the last one uh, the Hemantidate, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. There's a little yellow crystal here. It is used in both the boots and the bracers for the Haru specs for male and female no, excuse me. Yes, male and female, and it's customizable and not customizable. So there are, I guess the rarer blueprint would be the customizable versions of this. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Haru specs. The Haru specs by themselves are very identifiable in their appearance. Um, having them customizable, maybe changing the colors, is kind of exciting. I think that'd be really cool. Um, 
So we'll see. All right, then you get into uh, the Crosberry. Uh, there's an L in the end, I don't know, Crystal. Um, it's used in some tailoring and some armor crafting. Uh, and, you know, Arcus, Ar I don't know. It's A R C T I C U S. Lots of C's, lots of other things in there. Anyways, the shins and the gloves drop off of, or can be made with these particular uh, guard. You got the chlorite crystal. Chlorite crystal is used in the chef's hat. Uh, it's another free to play mission one that you can do where you collect all the resources. The NI Carnival Ticket Brass Blueprint, which is a uh, metal engineering. And then you got the Trojan Breastplate, which is another armor uh, one. Then you get some more steel guard with the Mantiant, with the Atomite uh, crystal. Uh, you can make the steel brigade, face mask, footwear, gloves, shirt, and trousers. Basically everything but shins, it looks like. And, mm, harness? Looks like it can't be made with uh, the Atomite crystal. It's kind of fun. Uh, the Berry crystal, again, ends with an L. I don't know if the L is silent, but it's part of the Philosopher's Sword. Um, and there's a limited and unlimited version of that particular weapon crafting blueprint. And if you don't know, one of the Philosopher's Swords is one of the... Um, mid early range swords that people recommend leveling up on because it's got decent efficiency and uh, you can get an unlimited weapon from it um and it's really good so uh you get to the angolite crystal um it can be used to make a stuff holiday screecher that's interesting uh going back to uh weapons you have the sword of justice the sword of prudence and the sword of wisdom can be made out of this crystal. So I don't think I got any of those to drop in the amount of time I was there, but I'm sure it does drop off it. Uh, Argonite crystal, I know I got some of those. Um, this is more Haru specs. This is for the hat again, a uh, different part of the hat. And then you get the halite uh, crystal, which is one half of the perpite. And I know Perpite was not on there, but Perpite dropped for me too. So you can get the Halite and you can get the Perpite in the same mob. Um, that is a very uh, nice thing and probably a reason to hunt Yellow Papu. Uh, because if you're getting both pieces of a two piece set, like to make Perpite, you need Halite and you need Perpite. Um, that is. A, a very nice way for someone to be able to make a bunch of it. Um, perpite, uh, the cool thing about Perpite is it is a very vivid purple. Um, it is a texture, fairly smooth, a little bit of marbling in it, um, but it allows you to add a pop of color to something like a, a vehicle or whatever without having a lot of problems. I would make a lot of Perpite. I plan to probably max out my Perpite uh, blueprint whenever I get one and whenever I actually spend like half my life on uh, next island which will probably happen at some point in time going into the parts so it drops the palms it drops the tooth it drops the heart and it drops the tail uh, the palms of course are using the walking stick that's one half of the walking stick or part of the walking stick then you have the resin nomad foot wraps. If you remember uh, from the last video, I talked about I want to see the foot wrap that requires 200 hands to make, but that's what it's saying. Uh, the hands are also, the palms are also what they use to make the short gallery wall, uh, which is a carpentry. The tail, of course, is using Campbell's basic framework, which I believe to be some sort of component, probably for carpentry boot. Let me take a look. That's what I said in the last one. I'm not even 100% sure what that goes to. So Campbell's basic framework is actually used in the Hypersense Spectacles, which is an armor. The Hypersense Spectacles are the cool goggles you see people wearing. Uh, you have to get some fine lenses and that type of thing. Um, ATT. 8 ped worth of TT, no special values other than that, just decorative. Uh, but, you know, 
very cool look for sure. Um, you're also going to get the Reza Nomads off of the, the tails and the leggings, and you'll get the tropical bra for those that would like to have a bra made of a Papu tail. Uh, the Papu Tooth has the very evocative uh, Drake Wings Acid blueprints, and then they have the Tropical Shades, again, another cool one. If you can't get the goggles, get the shades. Uh, then you have uh, Helen Venturer's Walking Stick, the other half of it, or another part of it, I should say. It's probably more than two pieces. And then when you get to the heart, the heart has one specific purpose. Apparently, it's used in high gallery wall uh carpentry stuff so very cool okay so that's what you're going to get with that um you know i don't know what rare drops drop off of the yellow papu um the fact that you can get the per pipe both parts if it is the fastest way and i don't think it is necessarily but if you were lower level and you were wanting to farm for per pipe or you were lower level and you wanted to have a creature you could sweat that could drop uh, something that you could save the stuff for perpite uh, I say openly would be an awesome thing uh, mostly because I would love to buy uh, perpite stuff uh, for the perpite texture um, but I know there's a lot of other people that want to make perpite texture because they want to do this whatever and they can't because they can't find the parts. Usually it's the halite crystal because the perpite just screams, hey, I do something special or I've heard of the perpite texture. But the halite is one that everyone kind of forgets. Oh, yeah, it's the other half of it. So you can find the perpite, but you can't find the halite. Uh, halite drops off of lots of things, so it's not terribly rare. But in this specific case, um, I've seen that be a problem in the past. Anyways, guys, I... Uh, Got a little bit off the tracks here again. I hope you guys don't mind. This is a very uh, information heavy kind of talking about this aspect of the game and this part of the world, maybe in a little more uh, broad manner, trying to educate uh, those that come here on what they can expect with this particular thing. Going into like hunting Papu, there are layers. Um, there are three missions just for the yellow papu that they're related to um and then there's the stuff that they carry and there's four different types of papu and it's so easy to kind of be like oh monkey okay you kill the monkey you kill the monkey no they're very different and they do very different things and they have very different things associated with them um the red papu have their own missions the gray papu have their own missions the yellow papu have their own missions and the brown headed stepchild in this case the brown papu has fewer things but they are not necessarily the worst Papu to hunt. Anyways, so we'll get to them when we get to them. Look for it very soon. It's going to be real quick. But if you want to give me a like or, or subscribe, I appreciate it. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and what I could be doing a little bit better. And which part of this rambling mess maybe that I'm doing that you'd rather I wasn't doing. Uh, so I can go ahead and make this video better. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep her in that bed.